Hey guys, thanks for stopping by. Just checking out what I've been up to with collecting. Uh, I got a, managed to get a few more uh, books in, so um, I think this is a pretty decent st uh, size stack to make an update video on. Um, so here's some more off my wish list, uh, the never-ending uh, wish list. So uh, no particular order. I'm just going to do this first one because it's sort of an awkward size. It's a cool size, but it's just a bit awkward. It's, so I'm going to do that first. Um, so it's the, called, uh, I've been wanting this one for a while, uh, the Hammer Vault, uh, Treasures from the Archive of Hammer Films by Marcus Hearn. That's a very beautiful um, book. I don't know what the, I don't know how different it is uh, as far as from the original. This is the revised and updated edition, but very beautiful. Got a nice shine to it. Here's the back. Here's the spine. Really cool book. Uh, thankfully, it does fit on my shelf just right to where it's not sticking out and it's going to trip anybody so that's what i was worried about when i first got this in because I, I just wasn't expecting it to be um designed this way but uh thankfully it's not a problem so i'm just letting you guys know if you don't have this book this is what can be expected it's about a i'd say maybe just a little over a foot in length um so yeah it's interesting and then I will uh, skim through here as best I can. Loaded with uh, tons of information. Um, I've never had the, the first edition. Uh, like I said, this is the revi re uh, revised. Second pressing book here. Uh, goes all the way up to some of the uh, Hammer remakes, which is really good. I enjoyed that one, The Woman in Black, the new one. Still need to get my hands on the original. Um, I've never seen the original. I would like to. Ooh, that's a great one. That's that's a good one. I didn't, yeah, I didn't realize that was a hammer movie. Huh. I don't, I'm going to have to look into that. I didn't know that. All right. That's cool. This might be a lengthy video. Just let you guys know. Try not to go too fast. Some of my uh, book updates, I sort of just went quickly through some of it. Some days I'm a bit tired. I mean, I'm excited to make a video, but some days I'm a bit tired. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm going to be quiet. <laughs> cool. be a little bit of nudity in here so I gotta try and be careful pretty cool That's the Hammer Bolt. Treasures from the Archive of Hammer Films. Alright, next up is... This one's about the modern, more modern horror movies. This seemed interesting to me. I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, I got this one for pretty cheap. Horror movies of the Zeros. Screams for a new millennium. He has a 
couple of books out now. Uh, this one seemed the most inter interesting to me. Um, here's the back. This was a fun. I did like uh, towards the back of the book where it talked about the the remakes when the remakes were really hitting hard somewhere around 03 on up so that's towards the back that's like the last topic so there's all kinds of reviews um not too much like underground movies but uh maybe some that don't get too much praise i would i would assume like laid to rest that's a good one um A lot of the newer movies from the late 90s on up. Well, not late 90s, but 2000 on up. To forget what the newest movie is in this book. I thumb through this pretty quickly because I mean it's it's all black and white, so I don't want to try and bore you guys to death. Dog Soldiers, pretty cool. But yeah, I just seem interested. I'm kind of interested in picking up the horror movie books that uh, deal with the more modern uh, horrors as well. So this seemed like a fun read. I'll check it out. What's that? Next is another fun one. Is um, you won't believe your eyes. Front row look at the science fiction and horror films of the 1950s. I've got a few of these books. I just can't help it. I can't help but go after all these books. Um, not all of them, but just some that just grab my eye. And this is this looks pretty cool. So revised and expanded Monster Kids edition by Mark Thomas McGee. Here's the spine. I've already thumbed through it. It's pretty fun. It's like loaded with uh, cool movie scenes and uh, a healthy a healthy bit of write-up for sure in this i think there's some color photos in here mostly black and white giant from the unknown right yep yep that's that's what that is i thought i recognized that yeah, I was like, that face looks familiar. I just watched that not too long ago. That hit Blu-ray not too long ago, Giant from the Unknown. Oh, that's cool. Earth versus a spider. Yeah. Cult of the Cobra. Revenge of the Creature. Pretty sure that's Revenge of the Creature. Creature's Revenge. No, the creature walks among us. Ah, I messed that up, didn't I? That happens. awesome yeah that movie's a bit slow but i'm glad to have it in the collection um i'd never seen it until the blu-ray came out is that the black scorpion yeah black scorpion it's a good one it's another fun one. Oh, this is a cool one the woman eater that needs a better collector's edition for sure. Oh, that's awesome. Mars. Mesa of the Lost Women. Attack of the Spider Women, aka the Lost Women of Bizarre 
Sorpa. Didn't know it had too many. Didn't know it had that many names. get it it's a lot of fun ah, cool so you won't believe your eyes all right next up is volume one I have to look and see if they got any other volumes this is the only one I stumbled upon and it's a really cool little book I'm glad I stumbled upon it because it wasn't even on my wish list that's the cinematic art of fantastic India over 150 movie media reproductions from the collection of Tim Paxton. And a lot of this is coming from DCDs. I take it. Here's the back. You guys can just pause all this if you need to. Uh, it's a lot of... Hopefully you guys can see that. Got this book for pretty cheap thankfully it's it had been out for a while oh this book is crazy hold on i'll show you what show you what i'm talking about if you don't know already i know i'm late to the party on this one oh familiar with some of this look at these crazy promo posters that's cool. And some of it still is um, art from other movies, particularly the U.S. Uh, so that's funny. They definitely have their own style, that's for sure. Very colorful. Uh, I dig it. Look at this. Crazy. So I definitely plan on digging in. I got this not too long ago. So I haven't been able to take full advantage of this book uh, that's definitely from a little movie called the crypt but as far as this movie i'm not sure what this movie is but that image is definitely stolen from a, a movie called the crypt which is okay i have that one in my collection it's an okay ghost type movie um pretty cool Most of this is horror. Horror. Let's say that right. It's one of those words. I need to get the um, the Bollywood uh, Jaws, a tank attack. I forget the name of it though, but it's a Bollywood Bollywood's version of Jaws, which I need to get at some point. That's what this book reminded me of. A few titles I've had my eye on. Um, hopefully more of these will get released. Um, over here. It'd be nice. Crazy. Look at that. Crazy. I think I want to see that. <laughs> I think I have that skeleton man. I, I've, I've heard of that. I think I have that one. Pretty cool. Maybe the Jaws one I'm talking about is in this one. Let me let me look. if this is in somewhat ABC order. It's just all over the place. Uh, I can't. 
backyard. I thought I saw it in here. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That's, um, ah, what was that? She beat? No, that was, um, looks like Medusa. Right there, that image. But it's used for this movie here. I'm not even going to try to pronounce some of these, these names. But yeah, cool book. Had to get it. I was just curious about it. Seeing what, it was pretty fun. So that's that. Next is an old one. I thought they had a few classic books in this update. Uh, Grease, Paint, and Gore. The Hammer Monsters of Roy Ashton. Never before published original drawings and photos. When this came out. Here's the back. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I didn't get it for this price. I got it for much cheaper. I just have yet to take this little this old sticker off. I'll do that later. a classic. So, it's just special effects. Oh wow, I didn't know I had that many masks involved. The reptile. One of my favorites. Really cool. Sketches. Plague of the Zombies. Oh, these are pretty neat. I like, like, quick sloppy sort of quick sketches that are, they're always fun to look at fun to make fun to do yeah hopefully i'm not getting you guys too dizzy um do so not the core god i should say Yeah, the Gorgon. Pretty cool. I can't go through all these pages, guys. I'd be here all night. Um, yeah, you get the gist of it. Really cool little book. Gotta have that one. Is that that? Glad to have that one. Found that one for pretty cheap. All right, next is simply called Psychos. This is this one out of this stack is my least favorite. I really didn't need this book. It's 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 kind of a bit boring. Um, and what got me was just the awesome bright vivid blue and yellow color and the, just the title simply called Psychos. This one's coming from John McCarty. 80 years of mad movies, maniacs, and murderous deeds. Yeah, I really didn't need this book. Um, but yeah, I got this one for like practically peanuts on eBay. So I figured, I figured I'd go ahead and get it. That's kind of cool. You know, I like some of these older books. So, but yeah, I honestly didn't need this one. It's a bit, not that I've read through all of it. Um, read through a good chunk of it. And skim through here and there with it. But yeah, it's got plenty of photos, all black and white, um, some color. But pretty cool. So, Psychos. Next is uh, this book is amazing. It covers um, all Bigfoot, all movies that deal that that have Bigfoot in it, basically. You know, basically. Um, the Bigfoot filmography. 
uh, yeah, this book is awesome. It has even even mentioned comedy mo comedy movies that may have a Sasquatch scene in it. It'll it'll be in here. So I'm glad to finally pick this book up. Uh, seller popped up uh, on my Amazon watch list and uh, got it for like a really really good deal. So yeah, I've been eyeing this one for a while. So the Bigfoot filmography, fictional and documentary appearances in film and television by David Coleman. Forward by Laura, uh, Laura Coleman. I think it's maybe his wife or something, or sister. come across that one comedy I'll show you I forget the name of the movie but it's in here and it cracked me up because I remember that Sasquatch scene and that is hilarious oh that movie's awesome that's a good one it's abominable actually that movie yeah the Bigfoot and that looks actually actually looks badass looking so pretty cool then you got Yeti that's a cool little movie What is that? What is that off of? Yeah, I have to look into that. That looks crazy. Ah, I have that movie. Why didn't I recognize that? Of course, I haven't watched this in years, but I have this one. Um, one of IFC Films' earlier DVDs. Um, yeah, The Wild Man of the, Na the Navid Navidad. Yeah, I remember pre-ordering that. That's how... Um, wow, that takes me back. Terror in the Swamp. Still needs to get rescued from obscurity. There might be some nudie in here for a while. Oh, there it is. Um, this movie's hilarious. I was kind of surprised it mentioned it in here. I shouldn't have been. Um, Strange Wilderness. Oh, I gotta find that one scene. Let's see. Yeah, that's hilarious. I remember that. I need a tripod. I really do. <laughs> I'm gonna get one, I promise. Um, but yeah, anyway. That's hilarious. Um, Strange Wilderness is uh, one of my favorite comedies to have come out in recent years. I say recent years, but this is probably like... It's got it all from um, 09. Has it been that long already? Wow. <laughs> Check that. That's crazy. Yeah, awesome book. Covers a lot. <laughs> Why not, right? seen that one no what return of the forest monster I'm not familiar with that unless it goes by another title it's be a really low budget indie one there's primal uh, let's see night beast it's decent Pretty cool. Man Beast, that's a funny one. Uh, let's see. There's so many. I just, you don't, I don't realize how many there are until you start thumbing through books like this. Can't say I'm a fan of Cry Wilderness. Uh, but cool. That's cool that it's mentioned in here. One. Holler Creek Canyon. Bigfoot. That's a classic. Schlocky goodness. Yeah. That's just awesome. So I gotta have that. And now, uh, the only one I was missing is Volume 2 
of sex and horror. Now I have all four. Yeah, all four of them. Um, and I'm not going to be able to thumb through too much of this because it's just a lot of um, it's loaded with nudity. Uh, let's see. I'm going to try to find one. Uh, I can't just yet. I'll just give you a little bit of the shark action. That's pretty cool. Uh, I wish YouTube wasn't so lame. Here we go. That's pretty cool. But you guys kind of know what's what's going on. That's some zombies. She's um, clothed, surprisingly. Let's see if I could spot another one. This is not so bad. This is kind of cool. This is really cool. Uh, this is cool. I can show this. What else can I show? Hold on, guys. I can show that. Pretty cool. Any more I can show? I can show a little bit of this. That's awesome. I can uh, can't really show that. Hold on. You guys get the point. This is pretty cool. It's not really no fun thumb through this book if I can't show at least 50% of it. Uh, but cool. Glad to have it. This is volume two of Sex and Horror. Volume that I was missing from my collection. Oh, glad to get that. And then here's a fun one. Next is It Came from Bob's Basement. Exploring the science fiction and monster movie archive of Bob Burns. Here's the back. And this one's a lot of fun. Looking at all this collection this guy has. Insane. Models, original models. It's my animatronics, original animatronic props. I have that little model kit painted up and everything, but um, you got to be careful with it because it, it easily breaks um, the little squiggly arms that you glue onto the sides. Um, those can easily break. Um, I fixed mine, but I just haven't hung it. I haven't hung mine back up yet. I do have that. <laughs> That's one thing I have that this book shows. Oh, that's pretty cool. Time machine. That's cool. Original puppet from Aliens. Robot monster. Cool. Invasion of the Saucer Man, behind the scenes stuff, that's cool. I'll check that out. That's creepy. Let's 
Huh. I forgot what their spaceship looked like. There's a hand all filleted. She creature. Oh, let's check that out. <clears throat> That's cool. It's crazy. Cool. It came from Bob's basement. Really cool. Here's the spine. That's that. Okay. All right, getting into some horror uh, comic archives. Um, first is volume one of Shock suspense stories from the EC from the EC archives series this is volume one I'm glad these are getting uh, re-released some of the older ones are going for sky-high prices so here's the back it tells you how many there are like six total I guess, I'm guessing Hopefully it's just six total and not 60 total. <laughs> I don't have room for 60. So hopefully that's not the case. Uh, if so, I'll, I'll bow out early. I'll just grab a couple of these and say I'm done. Um, especially with the, the shock ones. I'm not. I'm more into the Tales from the Crypt and the um, Haunt of Fear. And what's the other one? I like those a little more. They lean a little heavy on the horror. Um, these are more of the thriller stories. With some horror stories sprinkled in, but mostly like suspense, yeah, thriller stuff. Killer wives, that kind of thing. Look at that. What's, what's going on there? That looks crazy. Hmm. All right. Amazing art. Pretty cool. I like these uh, ads. These are always cool. Cut that out. Hmm. All right. Shop talk. So that's that. Next is volume two. I got volume one, so here's volume two. Of Tales from the Crypt. And this just came out. Um, this was like a pre order. So, like I said, they're re releasing these. So, these are awesome. On the color. Pretty cool. There's the spine on that one. Witch's Cauldron. Classic. Oh, check that out. That's pretty eerie. Hmm. Some fresh graves. Oof, brutal. Crypt of Terror. Alright, that's 
that one. Volume 2, Tales from the Crypt. That's awesome. Love to get a full-size poster of that, huh? All right. And now last, for now, still collecting these. I only have a few more to go. And this is volume three of The Complete Voodoo, The Chilling Archives of Horror Comics. I have the spine. Back. These books are really nice. Um, I hate that I'm so late to the party. I'm grabbing these. Some of them have gotten a bit pricey. Um, but there's a few that pop up from time to time with a reasonable deal. So I'm just going to have patience. thumb through this as best I can just give you guys an idea of what's going on here haunted ink A werewolf castle Kind of go thumb through here all backwards, but just trying to show you guys a few cool things if I can. A little gore and monsters here and there. Sound of mourning. Forever dead. Ah, that's pretty cool. Deadly, deadly pickup. I've already read that one before. One of my Guandanalan uh, fat books over there. All right. Getting close to 40 minutes, guys. I'm going to have to... Got some cool stories here. I'm just trying to get a few cool shots for you before I hang it up. Um, it's kind of tough to catch them all when I'm flipping it around here. Um, that's pretty scary. All right. Which is the widow? Weird, fantastic tales. Voodoo. Gallows Curse. Alright. That's that one. And that is the horror book collection update for me. I'll come back at you guys with uh, movies. Uh, when I can, it'll be soon. Uh, so later, hope you guys enjoyed this one. A bit random, but that's how we do it around here. Uh, later.